Hello everybody and welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Slime3K, a horde survival action roguelite with a little bit of deck building even that I'm excited to be checking out here today. Before I get into it, I want to say a huge thank you to Tiny Build for sponsoring this video. If you want to check out the game for yourself, there's a link at the top of the description. It is out today. That's all I got to say. So in we shall go to see what it's all about. If you can't tell from the style already, made from the same creator as Despotism 3K or Despot's game you may know from this channel. But we got, looks like, one different character that we can start with right here. I see deck, because I think that we can make multiple decks out of the cards here, but currently, I think we only have enough to just fill the standard deck up. So, I think we have to unlock more over time. In we shall go. We can pick what looks like a different level. Let's go to the maintenance facility. All right. Being a slime is even easier than being a human. Ooze around with WASD, shoot in the direction of your cursor. You don't even have to click anything to shoot. The goal is to survive until the boss appears, then eliminate it. Standard stuff. A vending machine will appear when the slime levels up. Grab it. It grants you tokens that you can use to buy new abilities right then and there. While you're busy buying abilities, don't forget to upgrade the shop. The higher level shop, the more choices. Also, the upgrade cost goes down by one each time you level up. Kind of like auto chest style shopping there. Choose your abilities wisely, three of a kind to combine them into a higher level version. And remember, you can always sell abilities to make room for better ones. Yeah, definitely we got some auto chest style shopping, which I love. Abilities you buy end up in your inventory, but if you run out of space, they go into the stash, the inactive slots to the right, so right here. They do not trigger, but they can still count towards getting three of a kind. Good to know. The shop only sells abilities that are in your active deck. You can edit that in the deck menu. Your available abilities are shown at the top and your decks are at the bottom. Don't forget to update them and experiment when you unlock new abilities. Cool. You'll occasionally see barrels with green DNA symbols on them. Grab those because they give you special types of currency that's used to level up the slime in between floors. That's it. All right, you can open up the guide at any time. The game is still in early access and the slime has a bright future. So yeah. At least, well, at least until we make the tutorial less clunky. I was going to say, I'm not usually a fan of these kind of like, just give you all the information in a text box right away kind of thing. Oh, from the creators of Death Spots. There you go. One sec. Turn up a little bit of audio. All right, so right off the bat, we've got a couple guys just running towards this. Just a standard little dinky gun. That's got to be, unsurprisingly, a heal, yeah. Alright, Obedient Zombie. Summon a friendly zombie every three seconds. Max three at once. Hits anything but the target. Shooting eyes... Uh, eye launch. Shooting eyes has its perk. No need to aim. Handy, right? Summon a friendly zombie every three seconds. I kind of like that. How much money do we have? Eight. So we can restock for one. We could also upgrade our shop, which increases the drop rate of stuff. I think let's kind of do this thing where we try and upgrade our standard, like, common stuff. Okay. So we also can't buy this. I guess that's too expensive. Maybe that costs, like, five. Where does it say? No, we can buy it. Jumps and deals five AoE damage. The cooldown in five seconds. I can, I'm going to be real. I don't care about upgrading the pistol. We'll probably pivot out of that. Jumps and deals five AoE damage can lock the shop. I don't feel like I need to do that. I'm assuming our money does stay. Alright, so there's a zombie summon. I'd love to go for a kind of like a summon build. A little bit of a move speed there. Kind of want to move on up towards these. Because yeah, we get tokens when we grab it. Okay, shots pierce through the first target. Time to mow down some humans. Keep this in your active abilities until the next shop. To sell it for four. I'm a greedy man. Let's do it. We also know that our other shop is like literally right here. So it's not that big of a deal. <sighs> God. The random dart. We have 14 bucks. Come on now. I should have went for the eye launcher. I'm going to be greedy. Fine. Upgrade the shop. Buy the pistol. We have an extra slot. We should have clearly been upgrading it slightly earlier. Well, there we go. That's what I've been looking for. So three of a kind. So this is now a tier two. And I think I'll lock the shop. I would love to just get a whole bunch of summons and do that kind of angle. So we'll buy that right there. So right-clicking sells. 
I'll buy that and I'll sell that for uh, for more in the next shop. How about that? I'd love to get in there and get that DNA. Absolutely would love it. We shoot through this building. No dice. Sell that. Should have got four. We'll buy the upgrade to the pistol. So it combines them down. That should help out quite a bit. So every two seconds, max six available at once. Okay, so it's a pretty big deal. I'll buy that. I think I'll upgrade the shop. As well, okay. Upgrade the shop as well. Looking for mostly like the watermelon. Okay, at level four, we get another slot here. But what we are doing is increasing the drop rates of the rare stuff. I do love the shop, just because I'm an absolute sucker for an auto chest shop. Okay, buy. Buy, which gives us the combo there. I'll buy another pistol, even though I know what I, I, know what I said, that I wasn't going to do that. Why am I so far down the screen, man? I want the screen to be following me a little bit tighter than it is right now. Oh my god, look at that army. Another one? Okay, how can I, um... Can I move stuff from my reserve, I guess is my question right now? Shotgun is a B tier. You know what? Screw that. Sell that. I will buy a shotgun. Do I want to spend one to reroll? I'll do one. Watermelon. That should be able to get combined soon, too. All right, we'll deal with it. I'm loving the watermelon. It seems very, very handy. We'll be able to get in there very shortly, I do hope. Tell you what. Should be a greedy son of a son of a so-and-so. How about that? Okay. Another watermelon. Grab it. Sell these two. Could upgrade my shop. We'll greed. I think we'll pivot out of the pistol, like, but for real this time. Since I have this kind of, like, shotgun now. Get rid of you. Back it up, back it up, back it up. They're just all spawning exactly right there. What the hell, man? Back down towards the creators of Despot's game business. That gives us a three. Is that a get level three of an obedient zombie? That's an achievement right there. I could, God. You just keep giving me these pistols, though. I feel like I want to replace it with a higher tier thing, but we just got so much space that I guess I feel like I just should do this, which it's kind of annoying. Curse my pistol luck. But yeah, I, I kind of wish that um, the camera followed me a little bit closer on the vertical. I'm finding myself running into issues with that. Where, like, I'm at the very bottom of the screen. I don't want to move down further because I can't see what's down there. Don't really want to use up the healing shrines. Okay. Guy's bodied. Absolutely bodied. Level one is complete. That was it. That was all that we need to do for level one. That was nothing. There's a, <laughs> there will be a, okay. There was a road screen here at some point for now. You just get this. Yay. Flashes. Deal damage to anyone who gets too close to the slime. So we can hit next level, but what we can do now is theoretically go back and change up the options for a deck. We got a new D tier option. So I think what I'll do is I'll remove the pistol from the options, which is probably a, in a way a bad idea since we start with one. At least with this loadout. Okay. So we start with this standard thing here. There's a shop over there. Oh, you can pause with space. That's just kind of a nice little quality of life thing. You don't want to have to actually go for the full kit and caboodle of doing an escape pause. All right, we need something else. We need it fast. An immediate watermelon feels like a good call, though. It's a rare... 
A few nails randomly shoot out in all directions. That being said, just trying something new also sounds good. I'm going to go for the upgrade. I'm going to be, be greedy. All right, we need to scoot through. The fun thing is that we can kind of like push through the enemies. I really like that. It makes me really makes you feel like a giant slime. <laughs> All right, take me to the shop to spawn all the... What? I thought it was trying to lure me over there. Buy another random nails. It's anything but the target. I just got to buy some stuff for right now. We'll, we'll, we'll sell later if we need to. But so we don't get absolutely bodied immediately. Just got to get anything we can. It looked like it was trying to lure me all the way over here, but now that I'm all the way over here, I'm not seeing what I uh, was supposed to grab. This is brutal over here. Flashes. We'll get a dart because we have one. I am just going to die right there, though. Yeah, I was going to say that all of, all of a sudden that start was so much different than the other level there. Give me a give me a salty run back. That was just like enemies did so much to me, and there's all like just a million of them so fast. I do know that there are also like the meta progression things that maybe I guess I should have been looking at getting already, but Alright, different kind of greed. How about that? Look at the eye launcher. Okay. I see this kind of shopping symbol. It's weird. So if we go that far in that direction, it spawns it, just not where I would have thought. Damage to anyone who gets too close to the slime. I do like that. And the random nails will sell this. I'll buy an upgrade. We have six. I'm not going for the summons just because we have already done that. I'm trying to do something different here. So yeah, is it just if I move in this direction, one will spawn near me? It doesn't necessarily, it's not leading me to it. There's that movement speed shrine thing. Yeah. It's just shooting me in a general direction saying like, go generally that way. I'll buy that. Do the watermelon, I'll, I'll buy the random darts. We're pretty close to getting... Yeah, this is a much better start. We also don't have anything to aim, do we? What on earth is this? There's so much here. Gee, I think I could probably buy the, the piggy bank until next shop. Okay. Don't have the money. Well, I eh, don't have the money to do what I want there. Same deal. Seeing the piggy bank is so nice. Because we just go right here and we sell it. Good God, this level is definitely a bit different. Should I upgrade? I, I'll upgrade before going to the next one. God, I, I guess I should have gone for the freaking watermelons is what you're telling me. Now the piggy bank's actually a concern. So we have all these C-tier things. Okay. Eyeball, we have the piggy bank. Okay. Got a tier two on that one. Got the random shot. We have nine bucks. We could do a little bit of a reroll. There's a rocket launcher. Does not explode if it doesn't make contact. I do want it, but the question is, how do I move it over? Do I have to sell things in order to move it over? Okay, cool. Well, as stuff combines down, it'll move over too. That's interesting. Boom, 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 go, 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 go. Yeah, we're not going to be able to uh, get everything we want. So we're going to have to sacrifice 
something. It looks like eyeballs is maybe a fine call. Maybe random darts. We'll sack random darts. It was the right call, I'd say, because now we have the eyeballs there. Fiery Horizon. Every three seconds, two wheels roll out horizontally, passing through enemies doing five damage. Definitely buy this. We're, we're very close to having what we're looking for there. Maybe I even just force roll for it. Uh, How much does it sell for? Sells for one. It was not to play. But now we have the uh, the rocket launcher at the very least. Move down, get the movement speed, get the health. Move through. Clearly there's something special back over there. There we go. There's a three star of that bad boy. We get, could even grab a shotgun. Should I? Sure. Alright, let's go get the meta stuff. Got all this healing sitting around. We got so much stronger all of a sudden, yeah. Uh, flashes sound good. I think I'll buy the upgrade shop. Zone seems to be lasting a little bit longer than the other. A minute 20. Can absolutely take a couple hits and it won't be that big of a deal. A lot of Scytherang stuff showing up. Grant summon creatures an extra 50% health. That could have been good, but... I think we pass. Yeah, I'd love, love, love if the camera followed me a little bit closer moving down. Okay, here we go. That's so good. That's another upgrade. We can obviously sell the piggy bank. Fiery Horizon. The fact that we can buy that and actually put it on our board seems really, really good. All these projectiles mean we probably have to move towards the uh, the mages. Another rocket launcher. And another fiery horizon. Be bold, because we could always just buy... It. It's another freaking shotgun, too. I was going to say we could sell the shotgun. We should be upgrading the eye launcher, because then we can get an extra slot... That's what we really should be doing. Okay. I actually do really like the fact that we can sort of push through enemies. Of course, there's another shotgun. I wonder if we can buy an eyeball. What the heck? Oh, because I don't have... There we go. That was my question. Can we buy the eyeball and have it slot in like that? As if I had an empty space. And the answer is yes. That's really nice. I love when games do that. Okay, so that's now a tier two. We could try and go for another one, but we only have 45 seconds left. I think we get like a fiery horizon is the main goal there. So this guy is the... He's the guy that was the boss, wasn't he? Yeah, he was the boss last time. A little bit of healing over here. Yeah, kind of looking for Fiery Horizon. There it is. So now we could get something, anything. Asher. I was hoping, like, maybe we'd see, like, an A-rank thing. Certainly it exists. Okay. Under the piggy bank, we got four. All right. Tier two of the Scytherang. Scyther! I see some candy over here. I don't know what the candy is. That's the AoE blast. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to wait until the boss shows up. There's two of them here, even. Wait for the boss. Where is he at? Okay. You come here, my friend. I'm willing to sack it a little bit. There we go. Big AoE. 
to go for the healing. We bring him over here. Go for another big AoE. And another big AoE. It doesn't even seem that necessarily good. It's just very safe, you know? Okay. Back it on up. A little bit of chaotic AoE action we got going on. This really... There's no point to even be here. Just doing it for fun. See if I can get another... Maybe another resource or something. Aw, oh, man. Probably out of here. It's your two shotgun. Yeah, I, I knew it. I just wanted to kill a little bit more because it seems like that actually does get us more unlocks. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. We'll go back and we'll see what uh, some of the meta unlocks will be like. So we should have enough to get something now. Increase your drop rate. So let's go home, go to upgrades. We have 11. Holy crap. You can use an extra... You have an extra ability slot? That costs 5. That seems worth it. Gain health when you upgrade. Reduce damage when you drop below 10%. Yeah, an extra ability slot just seems great. I'll just buy everything we can buy. So we actually don't have a whole lot of options for stuff we can buy right now, but it does seem like all very, very useful. As far as putting this in, increase bonus drop rate by 10%. I don't think I care. Big question being, do I have another character yet? I do. Ocular starts with eyeball. Less health moves quicker. All homing projectiles will pierce through the first target. That seems so good. Don't forget to add some AoE in the deck editor. I mean, hey. Piercing through the first target is probably the closest thing we can get to AoE. This is so much better than the other one. Oops, did not mean to do that. I mean, this is one of those situations where I have to. You know? They just drop that on you like, here you go, here's a whole freaking build. Both of those as well. No points to restock. I can't buy anything else. We have more stummin stummins, summons, and we have the uh, get too close to me, you take damage thing. The eyeball. Watermelon is AoE. It's really saying to get AoE, so. Random nails is good, but I'm going to get that upgrade. Ooh. Do I lock for the summon? I don't think I lock for the summon. Eyeball, upgrade the watermelon. That all works for me. We have so many healing things here that I feel like I could just go ham on these guys. For my AoE attack, and it won't even matter. Scytherang. I'm going to lock it, because I think that the empties get filled in this game. Get that. Scytherang. Got some enemies in an AoE. Did I s wait, did I sell the enemies? Is that what happened there? Buy that for next time. I'll do a restock. Alright, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Big AoE. Yeah, I don't know what the I don't know what the diamond's about. Buy that, we buy that. We can sell our piggy banks for sure. Upgrade the shop. Pierce through the first target. Holy crap, double fiery. This is this is a buy the whole shop kind of moment. Oh god. We're banking on some combines, though, if we do that. Oh, we're really banking on some... Like, I can't even do anything with that. Maybe I sell my summons. As much as there's, like, the two right there. We have a level two summon. The amount of space needed for that. 
is actually really awkward. Okay, so now we're really looking for another eyeball. It, it's like the kind of thing where I'm really happy we had it early, but we also need to pivot out of it. Okay. Get the eyeball. That's beautiful music to my freaking eyes. I know what I said. Okay. Yeah, we can kind of just walk through a lot of guys on this one. It's another upgrade. So tier two of that. There might be a way to drag these over, but I currently can't. Not At least not in a straightforward way that I already know how to do. Okay. Shotgun. I'm going to say no to the shotgun. So that I can, like, actually try and fill up these things. Um... We're really close on both of those. I'm actually going to ditch the Scytherang. Scytherang. So we can try and make that big play. We only have two of them. We have two individual level one versions of those. Which is definitely holding us back a bit there. They weren't kidding on the AoE for this level. I mean, dang. There's a level three. All right, now we can start building up yet another thing, and the question is what? 45% chance to get blues. It's soon going to be slightly more likely to get blues than greens. Is this a thing? Yeah, I didn't think so. You know what? Rocket launcher. Could certainly be good. Obviously, there's a three summons there. We could have had a, a tier three summon, but I think that's okay. We have seen a tier three summon already. Does have to be in the active abilities. That's. Wait, what? It's been selling for one the whole time? That makes no sense then. Because I definitely kept it. Oh, was it not? It wasn't in my. You have to get it into your actives and keep it in your actives. Okay, great. I just cringe when streamer. I understand. That's fine. We'll be okay. We, we're doing just fine. Uh, I'll buy this and probably sell it. It's not been that concerning here. Buy a Scytherang. Gotta get rid of these summoners. Holy crap. The random nails there. So yeah, we can literally just walk into enemies and explode them right now. Which is so lovely. There's a Doc Ock there. So yeah, the fact that the piggy bank has to be on your bar. I'm not going to say it kills it. But it does throw a huge wrench in it. I feel like maybe if it gave you more if it's on your bar than if it's in your bench, but it gives you a little bit on your bench. Like it at least pays for itself. Okay, we're almost able to upgrade the shop again. Four minutes yet. And we're not really showing signs of concern here. Okay. One off of a level three Scytherang. Could have sworn this character had less health but moved faster. If that's true, we have a lot of health. Okay. 
If I combine this down, we're going to be looking for yet another thing. Do we get the shotgun? I guess we could get the shotgun. Yeah, we got so much healing scattered around, I think is the big thing. And anything that even briefly touches me is absolutely ruined. My AoE game is absurd. Double shop here. Alright, we buy that. That's exactly why. Right there. No reason to reroll, we won't be able to buy anything. Holy crap. I want to know. There. We'll keep it in my freaking active abilities now. Fine. Sell for 13. So getting it combined does indeed seem like a good play. It's in my actives. If it doesn't sell for 13, I'm mad. Okay, good. Uh, I'm very down with just having two rocket launchers. Because, I mean, like, listen to what I said, of course. We can't piggy bank anymore. Oh, my God, stop. All right. If I combined... No, I just don't have... I don't have space for anything anymore. If I, if I combine down Fiery Horizon, I could slot in the piggy bank. That's basically what you do, is you buy a bunch of piggy banks here, or like get like three of them, combine them, and then slot them here. After you've combined something else. That's what you're... It's kind of what you're banking on. But it's so far away at this point. Oh my god. Oh, come on. This shop... It's so far away at this point that it is not even, like, a helpful way of going about things. Kill 50 fridge men. Of course, double shotgun. There we go. That's really good. So we're two away from a tier 3 rocket launcher, which is appealing. I do wonder if we're going to be getting a tier 3. Okay. Okay. So yeah, either of those is good. Kill a wheel man. So many little uh, little pods here that we don't even have to worry about the AOE. Oops. This is clearly a just like spam in your face zone. By comparison. So let's back up a sec. Back up, back it up, back it up. Lure him around the candy. That's good enough for me. Do it again. See, yeah, that's what that's what those are all about. What are those diamonds giving us? This level is just... Yeah, it's AoE spam. It seems like it's on purpose. Too, so I'm looking for a rocket launcher, of course. Deal. As we'll look for a wheel. Because we're getting to that point where we have like an awkward space situation going on. That's the guy that was the boss last time. I guess we're looking for the wheel because everything else is tier three. Well, we would need something else to replace replace it when we get there. So we could actually definitely go for some piggy bank action. The second we get two more wheels. So if we need two more... Well, we can get one more wheel, so we could go piggy bank, piggy bank, piggy bank, combine it into two, one wheel. We could rock up to... We could rock to two tier two piggy banks. And be fine with it. It's such a strange thing. 
how to or they could just let me get a tier three piggy bank which is such a strange that was not what i meant to do but it worked out well i i know that i got myself away from getting that that wheel but i mean like look at that that's just so fun tier three piggy bank i don't it's so weird that i love it now we want to get um the three wheels we get the three wheels then we can sell that piggy bank otherwise it's obviously useless Okay. Wheel. One too many on that. Move up. It's so weird that, should, that you can actually pause with space in there. I like it. I'm just not used to it. Wheel. Wheel. All right. Keep this in your active abilities until the next shop. In fear of that shop bugging out. Or not bugging out, but like that not being correct. So there we go. We got 55 bucks. Whistle. Uh, what do we want out of our final slot? Random darts, not bad. Because we have two of them already. Let's upgrade the shop. Because now we have a chance of getting an A tier, right? Is that what that is? Yeah, we have a chance of getting an A tier. Yes. Every four seconds, huge burning nuggets of darkness shoot in all directions. Yeah. That's obviously what we were kind of hoping for. Oh, there's another thing. Single electric shock. Uh, I mean, I guess I'll buy it. Projectiles deal more damage to each additional target. Okay, well, that's clearly going to be better for this. We could pivot out of one of these other dinky things. Probably. I mean, we could do eye launcher. Obviously looking for A rank stuff. Yeah, that one just didn't... It seems like the least likely to be good for what we're doing. What's that? Caliparang with good aerodynamics. Fine. Finding... Okay. That'll work. So, I'm hoping these legendaries are better than a fully upgraded tier 1, but I don't know if they will be. That was quite the pivot right there. Okay. Whoop. Seems like my abilities can't... My other abilities can't do damage while that's down there. Like, while I'm in the ground, my other abilities can't do stuff. Okay, that getting to tier two is nice. All right, we got the coffin boys. In Despot's game, these are the tanks. We got 40 seconds left until the boss shows up. It's a caliper rangs upgrade as well. Don't mind that. Yeah, an A tier at uh, tier two better be. Oh god, well it's kind of. What are the odds that I'm going to be able to get that up to a, an upgrade there? But all those at tier two, those have to be better than a common at tier three. Otherwise, I want my money back. Okay. Oops. That just. I feel like that needs to be streamlined. It needs to be quicker. It, it slows down the momentum of the game in a way that feels a little bit strange. I don't want that. Like, those are my two big critiques right now. Like, otherwise, like, I actually feel like this is doing some interesting stuff in the genre. It puts kind of like the, um, the flavor onto the shopping phase, which some people may not like. But I think it's like that's kind of the interesting part of this genre to me. I think that that's the truth. <laughs> 
I think that the uh, like the the shopping and the drafting mechanics are the thing that make this genre like exciting. So it puts that stuff at the forefront, with which I really appreciate. Uh, we have the boss already on the screen. There's no way in hell we get the Nuggets of Darkness in time. There's a very small chance we could get the Caliper Rank. And I mean very small. Like, we do want to kind of upgrade the shop. But it is also this sort of weird thing where... It feels like it could be a waste, too. Yeah, there's no way we get anything upgraded except for the caliper rings. Un I mean, no way is a strong way of saying it. God, I if only I cared about the electric shot. Because, yeah, that's the thing is you could get really lucky with the other stuff, too. But that's all hindsight, you know? I don't even know where the boss is, but he's been dying. Okay, do I, I kind of don't want to kill him. Oh my god, the shotgun is so good. Or not the, uh, whatever the upgraded thing is. Yeah. That's how it would be. We could just stay here and farm and get some more meta progress stuff. The boss is going to die on accident here shortly. From, like, all my random things. I saw that. It's the lightning. Maybe we could have gotten the Nuggets of Darkness. See, that's what's kind of annoying. Uh, yeah, that 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 is the downside of an auto chest style shop is when you're trying to make tier threes and then you're like, surely I won't find enough to make this a tier three in time and you could. All you can do is make a choice and stick with it or pivot. Like, and pivoting, it's hard to do sometimes. Feels like there are some good systems in, in this to support going for said pivot. See, so yeah, like we maybe could have got the needle shotgun. Just farm, trying to farm up some meta progress before he inevitably dies here. Yeah, he died. He died like a chump. Oh, well. All right, so we got another B rank card. That's something as you play more, like you get deeper in the levels, the runs get like a little bit longer. The cards that you have, like, I have cards I've not seen yet, because it looks like there's something past A rank. This part's gonna glow. Okay, we got an assault rifle, a banana rang. Ratata. Not all bananas are created equal, okay. Flammable concoction, fire beam. There's some cool looking stuff there. Something else around the edges, too. There'll be cool special effects here. I love that. Uh,. But yeah, I guess here, let's go back, check the upgrades. Increase your base base health by 100%? That's absurd. <laughs> oh, fans of meta progression are going to be eaten on this one. Holy crap. If you like the grind, it's got that stuff here for you. Oh, wait, this is down here too. Slime explosions. Bonuses do more damage. So that's what a bonus is. Understood. So, bonus, bonus. Those are bonuses. That makes sense. But yeah, let's check out some of these S-rank cards. So what are we dealing with? AoE abilities, knock enemies back. Okay. Summons an undead with mechanical tentacles every four seconds. That's pretty fun. Shooting eyes has its perk. No need to aim. So, super... So that's probably something that's going to be... That, that's this a repeat of that description. I'm sure that's going to be changed by the time it's out or whatever. Uh, but it seems like it's a super version of it, basically. Cold snap every seven seconds. Six chili projectiles shoot at doing six damage. Yeah, I mean, this is like a really, really neat format. 60. So there's 61 cards total right now. The game is going to be coming out in early access. I, I see this one being absolutely ripe for expansion in a really interesting way. Like, uh, the difficulty being, like, well, what if there's, you know, a defined meta where it's like, you should run these cards. Add abilities here or don't. So here's my question. How 
big of a deck do you have to have? Not enough abilities. Okay, so you have to have a certain amount. That that solves that. I was wondering. You have to have a certain amount of every tier. Gotcha. So you may be wondering, I don't know, maybe you're wondering, you're probably not. Why would you not add more abilities then? Just, well, why would you want to make it harder for you to get the upgrades you want? So my question is like, in what world would you ever want this? There's going to have to be some kind of card that's like for every unique card in your deck, get this kind of a thing. And I think that would be actually a very interesting because like, where are you willing to sacrifice worse RNG? Like you're going to get worse RNG on average for this effect. I think that that's a really interesting thing. I hope they play with, with a couple cards, but alas, alas, that's that. That's going to do it here for today for slime three K. I actually really enjoyed myself. I find this, um, it's no surprise. I talk about it quite often. I, I've been quite burnt out by this genre because it feels like it's not doing too much different stuff. I feel like this idea is really interesting and I do quite like it. Kind of like deciding. It's like a banishing in advance, you know, which is kind of nice. I really like that. So you're like, I don't like this. I'm never going to pick it. Well, just don't put it in your deck. Hopefully there should be four cards in each uh, category that you do think are interesting or fun. Um, and I think that's really good. I really, really like that idea. I think it's very clever. Uh, runs the risk of getting getting stale because it is up to the player to shake it up for themselves. And sometimes players won't do that because they're like, well, I need to win. So I don't want to remove this card. But, uh, you know, like I said, it, that's up to the player. You're putting that in the player's hand in a way that could pay off, could be, it could backfire in a way, but I think it's fun personally. Uh, and the other thing being, I'm an absolute sucker for an auto chess style shop. I love it. As much as it has those those moments of frustration, like I can't find what I'm looking for. It, uh, it's like that feeling of getting those three stars or whatever. It's it's like I got you a game that you don't have to pay for, you know, or you know, you don't have to pay for the rolls for. It, it, it's all the dopamine, but it's just like, you know. It's just there and it's free. You don't have to pay for each freaking roll, re-roll. Uh, but less, that is that. That's going to do it here for today. Like I said, Slime3K. My name is Rich. Make sure cover indie games every single day with an extra specialty in roguelikes and roguelites. If that is something you are into, this is a channel you should most definitely be subscribed to. Once again, a huge shout out to Tiny Build for sponsoring this video. Like I said at the beginning, all I needed to say for this video was there is a link at the top of the description to check out the game for yourself. It is out now on Steam in early access. Thank you, thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.